Hey guys, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but it is getting really, really hot lately in this house. Well, you guys don't live here, so you wouldn't know, but take my word. And the worst part is, my room is usually the warmest or the hottest in the house. So during the winter time, everybody loves to be in here. But during the summertime, I'm not gonna have any friends over. And this house does not have AC. We're gonna be one of those people that have a billion fans in each room. And that's not gonna be a fun time at all. And my house is one of those houses that it's actually hotter to be inside the house during the summer than actually outside where the heat is. Because my house decides that it wants to be an oven and start cooking us. Like I legit don't even have to go outside to get a tan during the summer when I'm in this house. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give you guys some quick tips on how to survive the heat during the summer. And I know summer doesn't really start until like around like June, but hey, we're almost there and it's better to be ready ahead of time. First essential thing you're gonna wanna need is big water bottles and not just any kind of big water bottles cold ones yeah you thought I was gonna say a brand but I didn't I mean obviously water is gonna become your best friend like anytime soon it's happening but if you guys live out in Florida or California you already know what it's like don't even watch this video you can just hop out and go like watch some other funny comedy video of, like Deadpool or something who knows try to always wear baggy clothes or shorts because if you wear a tight shirt even though it's not a long sleeve shirt, it's still tight on you and you might feel really hot because of the tightness. But if you wear a baggy shirt, it's loose, you can pull it around, it doesn't feel heavy, it just feels natural and it's not in your way and it's not sticking to your skin. And if you, when it comes to your pants, you can wear baggy pants if you don't own shorts. But if you own shorts, I'm telling you, it's probably a better idea to go ahead and select those. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is wear white. I mean, this might not help when you're inside your house, but when you're outside of your house, it will help a lot. Do not wear black. I mean, come on, we do not need heat attracting to you. We want it to reflect off, okay? So, white is your choice. Now, waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night is probably gonna be really hard because of the heat. Well, here's a tip on how to wake up a lot easier and how to go to bed a lot sooner. You just get up and you go into the shower because I can't tell you how much you're gonna love the fact you're in the shower in the morning and in the shower when you're about to go to bed because you normally you wake up and you're always like, oh my god, it's so hot in here, I can barely breathe, what am I gonna do? Just hop in the shower. That's I'm telling you, it fixes it every single time. You're trying to go to sleep and you're still like, oh my god, it's so hot in here. How am I supposed to sleep when there's so much heat on me? Take a shower, then go to sleep. You'll go to sleep feeling cool. It's a great method. It works every time. And I mean, hey, you don't even need to take just two a day. If you want to go for number three, go ahead. You, maybe for some reason you want to take one during the afternoon. Maybe you just got out of work. I'm not limiting you on how many showers you can take in a day, okay? Another thing you guys can do is go ahead and like cut your hair and get yourself a trim because honestly, too much hair on your head is going to be worse. For all you people that have hair out there, just put your hair in a ponytail or go ahead and like get yourself a trim or get yourself a fresh cut and you won't have to worry about sweating on your face so much and drenched hair it's just disgusting and it will look a lot better during the summer if you just like did something with that of course not everybody has an air conditioner I mean those are pretty expensive to have and use but if you guys have fans try to put the fans by the window pointing inside your room and leave the window open a little bit but just keep the screen down because then the fan will pull in the cool air from the outside and keep your room cool this works better though when it's towards getting late at night then it works during the day because sometimes it is really hot outside and then you're only pulling in hot air into a hot room but it's worth to give it a shot if you're going out somewhere and it's really hot outside and you don't think you can survive you can go ahead and go purchase yourself a little battery little fan that even squirts a little water in your face so when you're outside pull out out of your pocket your little baby fan and just let it blow in your face and then press the button it squirts water in your face also if you want to be a little cooler maybe open up your door and and let the rest of the circulation to the house in. I know you want your privacy, but sometimes you gotta make some sacrifices so you don't die from the heat. And another thing you can do, which I don't know why people aren't doing this, and I never heard of anybody doing this, but for all you girls out there, you're gonna think this is a really great idea, so watch this. Okay, so I'm assuming all you girls out there have blow dryers, and I'm assuming all your blow dryers have the mold cold or cool on it, some kind of mode that does that. So all you gotta do is turn on your blow dryer and put it on cool and put it on high and then hold the cold button and then... 
and then voila, you're good. Well, that's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And I know we all can get this video to 20 likes if we all band together. I know that we can do it. And go ahead and share this video around the interwebs with your other friends who died during the summer. Or that one friend you know that always has that family that doesn't have the AC and the house is really hot and they're dying. And you can help them live a little longer this coming summer. So go ahead and do that. And as you guys know, you can follow me on all my social media on the side here and i'll see you guys in my next video so have a great day check it look how cute this little kitten is look how cute he is it's kind of confused because why it's being picked up the other one's like right here sleeping <laughs>